And uh, when I've asked people in the past how they know the person they're with is the one or the person they want to marry, they always just say the same thing. So if it's hard to explain or you'll just understand it when you're there. I never truly knew what that meant. And a few years ago, while I was still at any time and I heard from my coworker that this girl was trying to cancel her classes without even giving me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I, I had some thoughts. Then you walked in and joined and used the sessions that you actually paid for already. Yeah. <laughs> but during that I noticed just how special and different that you were right away. I did my best to hide how I felt as we still don't know if I was allowed to date you, yeah. but look where it ended up. I think it's okay. Um, <laughs> Finally, when we were able to have our first date and I came home, the first words that I heard out of my roommate Charlie's mouth and that I knew I was thinking at the same time was, this was different, that you were going to be the one for me. Anna, I love you so much, and I just can't believe how blessed and lucky I am to have you in my life. And I always vow to love you and to be by your side. I vow to take care of you, cherish you, and continue to try to keep our life happy and exciting. I vow to always continue to try to surprise you <laughs> and always to take care of you even when you're sick, for a few weeks before the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I vow to always and forever work on our relationship and our faith together. I love you. Over the years, Anna has become more like the sister I never had than a friend. Not only has she, has she learned, let me spend time with her amazing family, but she has taught me so much and influenced me in so many ways that have undoubtedly shaped me into the person who I am today. She's taught me to be a better friend, how to live life with intention and spontaneity, and how to find joy in nearly every situation. I look up to you in so many ways, Anna. You are the friend that everyone wants to have. You're reliable, kind, hilarious, caring, you're the best listener, and you give the greatest hugs. Anna has a special way of making every person she ever meets feel known, loved, and important, and that's only the tip of the magic that is Anna Miller. Once we knew we were all going to be living uh, with each other starting the next year, we began hanging out all the time. Started sharing the same friends, going to the gym together, watching hockey together. We really did everything together. And that's what you want in a friend, someone that you can do everything together with. You also want someone you can look up to. And truthfully, I've always looked up to Jack. He's like 6'3", and I'm like 5'7", on a good day, so I really had no choice. I tru truly believe Anna has made an amazing decision today. One of the most important of her life. Anna, this really is a tremendous venue. <laughs> That was probably the best I got, so. Jackson, when I first met you, I immediately thought, damn, the new trainer is really, really hot. <laughs> um, as time went on, I learned how much fun, sarcastic teasing, competitiveness, selflessness, loyalty, and kindness lives within me. Deep down, I knew that if I let myself, I was going to fall really hard for you. But too scared to lose what God had finally placed in front of me, I decided to assume the worst in every area. <laughs> but you patiently and consistently surprised me in the best way at every turn. You have become the safest place for me. You take me with all of my emotions. <laughs> And we know that there's a lot of them. <laughs> you have become my protector. You even protect me from myself. You are 
a selfless leader and a loyal friend. You truly can't rest until you know that I'm taken care of. And you've had to do a lot of that the past few weeks. <laughs> you are one of the most courageous and determined people that I know. You've been through so much in this life already, and you've had so much taken away from you. Yet you are convinced and confident that God is for you and has so much more good than pain and so much more good than pain in store for us. I can't see, my tears are blowing up the lines. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> Let's pray. Out of luck, guys. <laughs> hey, God, we really are uh, incredibly grateful um, for this day and, and, and we're grateful for, uh, for Anna and for Jack and for this being the, the first day of their new life together. God, we give you thanks for all of the life that they have um, spent together to this point. God, we're so grateful for the ways that you brought them together. We're so grateful for uh, the ways that you have just bonded their hearts to each other, little by little, um, time after time, God. And we're so glad to be here now at the result of that relationship that has been growing and that has been forming, God. And so we're grateful to be here now, and we're just praying more than anything, God, for you to uh, bless them um, in, in huge ways, God. Right from this day forward, would you be at the center of their marriage, God? We're so glad for a visual representation of not only their two lives being joined together, but you being joined into the center of that, God. Your spirit being so wrapped uh, and so entwined into every bit of who they are and the life that they live together. And God, we're grateful too, not only for your role in their life, God, but we're grateful for the friends that surround them. Right? God, I really do believe that sometimes we are the sum of the uh, the closest people in our lives and so um, God we're just grateful for the for the men and for the women that have been standing around Jack and Anna that are standing up here with them today for the, for the friends that are standing literally by their side as we speak right now God would you God fill these friends up with with so much strength so that they could be um, a real source of strength for Anna and Jack to do exactly what I said to rejoice with them in their happiness to stand by them uh, in their times of need, God, to remember them in their prayers, God. Would you form something so special, not only in Anna and Jack, but in the community of people that they form around them uh, from this day forward, God. And we do pray that, that Anna and Jack's love for each other, it really would be a picture to this world uh, of your love for the world, God, that people would see in Anna and Jack and the life they live together and the commitment they've made to each other. So God, we're so grateful for these two. We're so grateful for those standing around them, God. Strengthen them, support them, God. Lead them, guide Anna and Jack each and every day from this day forward so that they truly would live a life that is not only honoring to each other, God, but that is honoring to you in every single thing that they do. God, we give you thanks for this day and for the celebration that will continue to happen. And we pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, because these two have made uh, their vows uh, to each other and before God and for all of us here, I now get to declare them officially to be husband and wife. Jack, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> And so then uh, all that's left is for me to announce that it is my uh, absolute honor and privilege uh, to introduce to all of you for the very first time, Jack and Anna Elstrom. I love you so much. <laughs> you have taught me so much in what it means to trust him, how we don't need to live in fear, there are so many ways that God has shaped and molded you that I need in a husband. Your positivity makes mine look like a pity party. <laughs> and for these reasons and so many more, there's no other person on this earth that I want to commit the rest of my life to, to be the father of my kids and to build a family with. So I vow to love you and to continually learn how to love you better and in a way that you need. <laughs> <laughs>
not just the ways that are convenient for me. I vow to respect you as the leader of our family. I vow to be honest with you, to trust you, and I vow to cheer for the most of the wild. <laughs> I vow to work. <laughs> I vow to work, to work at our marriage. I will never try to run, and I will never give up on us. I vow to support you and cherish you as God's greatest gift to me. I vow to be an expert in your strengths and embrace your weaknesses. I will be your greatest and loudest cheerleader as you continue to become the incredible man that God has designed you to be. I vow to be a safe place for you in your journey. To be a wife that you find peace and rest in. I vow to be faithful to you and to have eyes for you and only you. I vow that I will not be perfect, <laughs> but I will humble myself and let Jesus shape me into the wife that you deserve. Neither one of us will be perfect in this marriage, so I vow to bring plenty of grace and forgiveness before God, and my family and friends, I am committing my life to you. And from this day forward, it is my greatest gift to be your life. Woman. Mm -hmm.